how far can I stretch this rubber band before it will break? Well, according to physics, I can stretch it until the velocity of the force is even with the torque of the underlying pressures, and the stability of the volume inside of the rubber components will just... Well, well to be honest, I, I don't know physics. I do know that eventually the rubber will break, and when it does... Ooh, ouch, that hurt. As you can see, relationships are like rubber bands. Sometimes we put force on various parts of a relationship, and when we do, we test the strength of that relationship, just as we can test the strength of a rubber band. We can often compare our relationships by looking at how much tension they can be put under and still survive, much like these rubber bands. I imagine this thicker rubber band can withstand more force than this thinner one. Now, in human communication, there is a rubber band test. It all lies within the relational dialectics theory. Gamble and Gamble explain that the relational dialectics theory is all about the pushing and pulling that people within a relationship feel when it comes to certain aspects of their relationship. These tensions occur when two people in a relationship experience the opposite sides of a particular tension. In this theory, these tensions are called dialectics. There are three dialectics that this theory explores. The first dialectic is the tension between integration and separation. A person who desires integration in a relationship wants to spend lots of time with their relational partner. This person wants to do everything with their partner. A person who desires separation wants to have more alone time and autonomy. As you can see, if you have a relationship in which one person wants to be alone and the other person wants to be together, this can create a lot of tension. For example, Bob and Jane are dating. Jane really likes to go out hiking by herself, but Bob wants to share everything with Jane. Well, this tension causes issues in their relationship because their goals don't match. The second dialectical is the tension between stability and change. The person who desires stability wants lots of predictability in their life. They want to get into a pattern within a relationship and not veer from that pattern. In contrast, the person who likes change wants variety in their life. Uh, they're not satisfied with being doing the same thing over and over again. For example, Malcolm and Juanita are best friends. Malcolm really prefers to always spend Fridays going to Applebee's and then to a movie, whatever is new that week. But Juanita wants to do something different every Friday. She wants to go dancing one Friday and then to an amusement park the next and then drive to New Orleans the next. She craves change, and Malcolm is entirely comfortable with that. The final dialectic is the tension between expression and privacy. A person who favors expression wants to tell their relational partner everything. Every single part of their day must be shared, and they want their partner to do the same. A person who favors privacy wants just that, privacy. They're not big on sharing all parts of their lives with the person they're relating to. We see this happen a lot in the relationships between parents and teenagers. Mom wants to know everything about what happened to little Tony, but little Tony just turned 15 and doesn't want to tell mom anything. This is a huge tension, obviously. So how do we resolve these tensions? Well, our textbook does talk about several methods for dealing with dialectical tensions. Go ahead and read all about it. I can sum it all up like this. First, we need to be aware of these tensions. Second, we need to understand that if you want a relationship to work out, you need to find a balance. Because over time, you stretch and stretch a rubber band, and it will break. And that's what these tensions do to a relationship. Ultimately, if you can't find balance, the relationship will be irre irrevocably damaged. It may even end. But that's okay. Not all relationships are necessarily meant to last, especially when it comes to romantic relationships. There are always more rubber bands in the bag. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah, get it? Okay, fine. Don't laugh. <laughs> but do have a good day. <laughs>